Jade. I'm Terry. I'm Aaron. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Aaron. Nice to meet you, too. Awesome. So I'm doing this show called Van Therapy. This is my van. Awesome. I was wondering if you would like to come in my van with me. I would love to come in your van with you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, watch your step. You get to sit in the comfy seat. Oh, watch that, your head, too. Okay. Okay. Wow. There you go. This is very retro. It's it, it's original. I've had it for like 20 years. Awesome. Yeah, how this are you great. today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little tired. I had a late night last night. Okay, so. partying it up or work? I was a little partying it up. Fun? It was fun. It was fun. We Where? had a good time. Uh, went out, hung out with a friend. Um, Stayed up a little too late, got home, took an Uber at like 3 in the morning. A little bit of a weird moment. Every time I get picked up after like 2 a.m., I have this like moment where I'm just like, please don't talk to me. Please don't oh, talk please to me. Don't talk please to don't me. talk to me. And I'm like, and then they go, so, and I'm like, oh, uh, here it is. Boom. Now you're in a car talking to me. Now we're just talking. Now we're just hanging out. Now you have to talk. Okay. Uh, but it's not 2 in the morning. So no. <laughs> I, part of why I'm doing this is that I just feel the last year has been really crazy in our society. Sure. and. I, my little part of wanting to do something was just to communicate with people and give people a place to like vent and sort of share their thoughts and maybe not feel alone. Okay. So you're in here for me to A, just ask you, do you have any thing you want to vent about or anything you have an issue with that I like might be able to help you with? Societal or, or anything. just... Anything. Okay. On, a, on like a therapeutic level. Okay. Uh, as I've gotten older, I'm 36. Okay. And as I've gotten older... I feel I've become much more curmudgeonly. And I find I'm complaining about things way more than I ever have been before. Right. And there's like a there's like that kind of like youthful spark that I'm sort of missing. But at the same time, I'm like I'm gaining wisdom. But with it, I guess like I think that's that's probably the thing that's like kind of the the, the main sort of zeitgeist of my life, as it were, like now, is like dealing with like just getting more mature and older and so figuring Still out partying, how but... to hang on to the youthful spot. Yes, yes. But but transfer into the responsible adult. Yes. Like that. Yes. I, yeah, it's it's doable. Um, I'm 53, so I'm way ahead of you. Well, you look great. Well, thank you very much. I was about to say insert compliment. <laughs> yes. Well, that, see, I like to do that, too. Sometimes that, I will just periodically tell people I'm just, way older than yeah, I am, just so uh, they go, you, just, look, you fantastic, look fantastic, and I go, that's right. all I needed. And I would say that I find that I still am like 35 at heart, if not younger. But I do things that make me feel spontaneous, make me feel like I'm throwing away judgment. Oh, you're this age, you're not supposed to do this. Right. So I think my advice on staying youthful as you age is that you continue to be in touch with your joy and yes. and don't fall out of step with your joy because all of the bills and the you know relationships and other people's needs and any kind of responsibility can pull you away from your joy so you know try to start every morning with like okay what's my joy what am i grateful for be in your body in that space and then move forward i, I think it's like for me it's this understanding of reality, getting frustrated that the inability to like communicate appropriately with people, like there's so much, that's when, I mean, this talk about society stuff. I feel like very few people really listen to each other. Everyone wants to talk, nobody really wants to listen. And so as I get older, I just get more frustrated because I'm like, here I have like amassed this wisdom and I'm having a harder time communicating it to people. And it's just like, you know, whether it's at work or whether it's in interpersonal relationships, I feel like so much of that, and maybe it's, Maybe it's also like just the change in like technology and stuff. Everyone communicates all digitally and I'm more of like a person to person type thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think as I get older too, as things change on like a societal level, I think that that's maybe kind of part of it. Well, I think that's part of what I wanted to do here was like be a place where people could talk and listen. Is there a thing that you feel not listened to? Like I want to listen to what you have to say. Like what do you feel? I feel like there's so much stuff that's happening in the news and this and that and everybody has sort of already made up their mind about what they feel about things and they don't really listen to nuanced arguments and unless it fits into this very sort of like platitudinal talking point type thing that fits squarely in one area or squarely in another area like in terms of like like oh like you're a liberal you must like come from this area or this and there's no nuance and there's nobody has any interesting ideas because they're all just picking sides mm -hmm. and so I get frustrated and as I and I feel like and th the reason why I I brought the age thing into it is because when I was younger I felt like there was more just honest nuanced conversation about everything and as I've gotten older I feel like everyone's just picking a side and they're all so segregated and pushing each other away and part of it also is 
is the, that has really deteriorated my ability to just kind of enjoy and like be able to like go out and, and, and because now whenever I talk to a person, I'm like, well, what section, or like what, what, like, you know, what group are you in or what, how do you think? And, and it makes it so much more difficult, I think, to really connect. So with. I think you're dead on. I mean, I think everything you're saying, I'm like fascinated with what you're saying because you're articulating. Oh, you. We are not talking and listening to each other and we are isolating groups and judging each other. Yes, and like, too much judging. And also like, compartmentalizing like you're this you know you're this thing and you that means you can't be this other thing yeah and a lot of judgment um do you feel like there's a solution <sighs> that's that's that and therein I, lies the problem right i sort of feel like i want to get the message out that like it's okay to disagree like okay let's say it's okay to invest in a conversation, let's spend 10 minutes, uh, you know, we talk about whatever. Sure. And at the end of it, no one wins, no one's right. Oh my God, you just hit no, the nail on the We head. haven't solved anything, Right. but we shared. It's not about two people having a discussion. It's not about two people being able to think about things in a nuanced way. It's my side versus your side, and then one of them has to win. And I think the paradigm's just all wrong. You know, I sort of think there's a genesis of it that comes from texting and email, because I think email... See, you and I are on the same page <laughs> on this one. Because I think <laughs> this email is therapeutic. and texting, it's <laughs> like we've all gotten really accustomed to just having our side. Like I can write whatever I want in email yeah. and press send and puke that out. And I have a feeling like, wow, I've, I've said what I wanted to say, but I'm not, I'm not in a place where I'm getting anything back from you. We're practicing over and over it's every, every time monologuing. We're just, just monologue, monologuing. monologue, monologue, monologue. Yeah. And we're so out of the practice of sharing that I don't think we even understand what a discussion is because I think this is a thing. If we have two monologues at the same time, it's not who's having the better monologue. Like that's, that's all we really want to No, It's not actually about, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, we didn't really solve it, but we, we did a great job. But you job know what? That was kind of the point. Cause you said it's not about winning. It's, it's just about, about just two people have experience. a conversation. Maybe if people see this and think about how that could apply in their lives, they would spend a little more time actually just sharing with people rather than feeling like they have to win or, or change the other person's yeah. mind or that they could just coexist and yeah. share an idea. There has to be a space where you go, well, we clearly disagree on this and here's why, but so, so be it. Well, like, you I, and I, well, we haven't disagreed on anything, actually. I, I was going to say, I was going to say, we just created that space, but we didn't really because we didn't disagree on anything. I know, we're like terrible anything. for this. We're not, we're but, not really a good but example. But I think we did bring up uh, something that'll give people to think about, which I is like, so. try to create a place where we share and not just like keep monologuing, doing these dual monologues at each other. Yeah. And thank you for bringing it up. Oh my gosh, this and is great. And thank you for coming in oh, yeah. to join me in my van. Of course, this is fantastic. <laughs> hey, you're seeing me on a good day. Plus, okay. I just hung out with Terry Hatcher. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you just hung out with Terry Hatcher. That's nice. That's nice. All right, all right. Have a great day. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you, you so you too. much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.